All right, let's see what we got here. The Helium 8K, if my focus can get that right. So yeah, the Helium 8K. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, excuse me, I'm, excuse me, I'm gonna test this camera out, if you don't mind. Let's get, see if I can get this out. Let's see if I can get this up. Before I do that. When you when I pick one of these, what happens then? Okay, so it's just as dark. What happens when I go for, let's say, 11 more? 11.99. Okay, so it's a lot brighter when you go for a lower frame rate. That's weird. <laughs> hey guys, look how look how choppy it looks at. Look how bright it looks at 11.99 FPS. Yikes. Uh, guys, since I don't know why you guys have gotten so lucky this semester, uh, with everyone wanting to gift you things, uh, but I think you guys are going to be uh, gifted a lunch, a professional lunch from. Former uh, student Jake Simpson. All right. And he's, um, he's done a lot more from cinematography into color grading. Uh, he's a color grading artist, and he said he's going to uh, give out a. Hey, look how bright this looks. Hey, excuse me? Look how bright this looks at 11 compa or 24 compared to 70, 75. Let's look at this. So. Oh, it does look good though. Alright, so when I do that, so when I do that, actually, go okay, advanced. I'm just gonna put 60 there. Click OK. See how much darker it looks? Oh, yeah. I thought you were saying sorry to me. See how much darker this looks now? Yikes. Okay, guys, so this one's a V Raptor XL, also from Red. I'm recording this for YouTube, by the way. And um, right now, some I'm under students, I'm tr trying out some of the settings here. As a matter of fact, if you don't mind, I could see what they look like. So this one's not a touch screen. I mean, I think you can touch screen. Well, but not this one. All right. Let's see here. I don't know. Oh, I think it's because of the eye comfort shield on the phone. It won't look like that without it. As a matter of fact, I'll get rid of it so I, um, I'll get rid of it in case that helps. Okay, now it looks less yellow. Alright, so let's see here. All right, editing. let's hit OK. Right, right. So you're going to switch the, the proxy back out. I mean, there's more to it than that. Simple but, but there's plenty of tutorials about how to do that. We don't have all the fancy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you have to use it. Make sure you have an extra. All right. Let's try this lens and see what ha see what kind of results I can get. First,
Let's see how that looks like. So it seems that this kind of uh, lens setting is for perhaps far sight ones like binoculars. But oh, yeah, just saying this for YouTube. Yeah. First one is going to be focus. The next ring is going to be your your zoom, and then this is your aperture opening. So focus, zoom, aperture. Yes. All right. <laughs> By the way, one thing I've noticed is that um, higher frame rates seem to show darker aperture. If that makes sense. Higher frame rate, yes, because it takes more light to be able to do that. Okay, so you're kind of lucky if you have a bright bright aperture at something like, let's say, 300. But, of course, we don't have sports cameras or anything, so we're not doing anything for a sports game. So that's out of the question. You can change the other settings to also allow for that to get the exposure back up. All right. And, of course, guys, there's the auxiliary cables right here, or inputs. Headphone jack as well. Or this one, yeah. Audio, of course. And I think that's a USB-C. I don't know. I'll have to check that in the future when I, like, let's say if I had to borrow this. Not sure when, but yeah. Let's see. And record button, obviously. Well, I'm not sure if that's the most convenient kind of record button, but yeah, that's something. Of course, it's got a big stand because film cameras need that. And, okay, zero, run time is 028. I, I forgot whatever he said regarding that, so that I can't say for certain. And of course, you got a bunch of these screws here. I think they're for extra components, for like in case you need to film something specific with them. Again, this is, I'm learning this stuff, so what can I say? Where, where did he say there was an HDMI? Hey guys, where do you say there was an HDMI? Uh, it's one of the holes. Okay, somewhere around here. Yeah, well, I'm probably missing it. Well, that's USB, obviously, so yeah, of course, that'd be Type C. Yeah, it doesn't say it, so I think I'm missing something. Do you see it? Oh, wait. Hold on. Point to it. What's that? I, I don't see it. Okay. Maybe we're missing it. Oh. Oh. Excuse me, I'm also going to document this if you don't mind. Okay, so now you're holding the Red Pro 5.0. And, okay, it looks like it has more convenient record buttons, so at least that's a good plus. And plus, this is kind of a go kind of a movement thing, so this is probably good for a handheld camera, like if you need to pose um, an action fight scene, because sometimes they'll use hammer handheld camera moments. Let's see how it looks like when you do that. Okay, you need your phone to me back with my face. Okay, <laughs> sorry. What does it mean by reduce judder? What's a judder? I think that's to reduce um, camera shake or something. Yeah, but who's judder? And another USB input, so that's cool, I guess. Okay, this one has the HDMI input. That's what I'm seeing here. So yeah, as you can tell, he's as you can tell, this guy is using the red camera thing. I, I wonder how convenient that actually is. Of course, you got the. What are you guys trying to change? Okay, Tokina Cinema 5135T2.9, and. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Anyway, right now he's right now this guy's currently um doing his thing, so I'm gonna end this off for you guys and um see you guys later.